Hey, Dark Sky here, and today we are playing Rail Route. It's a uh, train game that uh, is, well, you're more of a dispatcher for trains versus uh, riding trains or, uh, you, know, uh, you know, switching out cars for different trains and stuff like that for whatever uh, resource, you know, a certain city's need or something like that. You're just uh, dispatching the trains and setting up all the routes and stuff. So it's a little bit more detailed and a little bit more on the casual side. So it's a, it's a fun game. I also want to thank the developers and uh, or publishers for uh, providing me uh, with the, uh, the review key as well as key mailer. And uh, let's get into this. Let's do this. So I, uh, I have the game. It's, uh, it's paused here right now. I'll uh, we'll, uh, here get it going. And uh, we should have a train coming in about now. And so this train here is just going to the dock. So that's a it's a pretty uh, rudimentary uh, train, you know. There we go. If I can get it to go the right way. There we go. It's all set up. Now I just got to wait for, what, a minute and a half here for it to do its thing. What we could do is we could set up another uh, train route. That might not be a bad idea. Let's set up another train route here. And we'll, well, that one there is already set. So we're good. We're good. Now this one here, uh, you see it comes in on the at the same time as another train. I, I can't see what, what train it is because it's overlapping. Oh, it showed me there for a second. It's another there's a docks one, and I think it's this one here we're looking at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one forward a little bit, put it right there, and right right in a nice opening, you know. And then for this one here, I might want to just bring that back a little bit so it's not so close. So, but uh, I have this one here. It's going to be going 63 kilometers an hour. Well, you know, I don't think that's that's likely. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll bring that back. And we'll bring that back. Do plus on that one. There we go. So that's 31. Our tracks are doing 40. So we sh 31, I guess, is what, what the best we're going to get out of that. Um... There we go. All right, so that looks pretty good there. Oops, no, I don't want to increase that. I want to increase that, though. Bring that back a little bit. So, no, that's 42. It's 31. Dang, it's hard to get that just right, huh? So yeah, that's 31. Yeah, okay, there we go. So that that's good. We can put that right there. Uh, we could probably increase the departure. Now nah, I'll leave that the way it is. And that's pretty good there. And that's 32, 31. So that's pretty good. We can do that. We we can things can happen. All right. All right. So once this train gets a moving, there we go goes slowly but surely it's running out of the gate there it goes we should have another train coming in here shortly at well right there so here's our other train and we want this train here that we want it to go over here um so what i'm thinking is is i'm gonna have that go down like that and that one like that and there we go and we should be good to go now i can hit three times on that so now this train here is using our bottom track this other train up here is using our top track and everyone's happy now i just gotta wait the uh oh. all the church bells they remind me of my time at wakefield that was a long long time ago now if i close my eyes i can still hear the sound of the cathedral tolling it always used to wake me up. <laughs> you know, I've been working on a project for a while now. I've been to a lot of places in my time. Oh yes, more than I can count. But I don't want to forget any of them. 
so I've been making them into maps. Little games to play. And I've just finished recreating Wakefield. Would you like to play it? It shouldn't take long. It's only a short one. I'd love to show it to you. I've even included the old cathedral bells. <laughs> Yeah, let's go check it out. Wonderful. It's quite simple, really. There's a set number of trains for you to dispatch, and the goal is to get the highest score possible. Take it slow and see how well you do. Here we are. Remember, the goal of this map is to get the highest score possible, so try to make sure that all of the trains run on time. Take it slow and have fun. Okay, so it's like a little game here. We have to, we're gonna have like three trains all together, I believe. And then we just, we're gonna have to park them in these. Well, not so much this one. This one's gonna go here and then it's just gonna go back this way. But, um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much all we have to do here. Here's another one. Make right. sure you don't keep them waiting. There we go. So this one here is going from here to Wakefield 1. So we can set that one off to go. And then it's wanting to come back to this West Ground thing when it's done. So that's pretty easy. These tracks must be huh, high level or something, because it, it just moves right along. Okay, let's go to Wakefield 2. See that one there, it didn't even stop. It just, it kept on, you know, just going straight through. That's what I was saying about some of the trains, they just go right on through. Okay, so we got most of these trains here. This one here wants to go to this West Round, West Herald. So it's just gonna go straight on through. I don't even know if it's gonna stop in the beginning, you know? I hope it does, cause <laughs> I need to clean this one out of the way. This one's got like a few seconds left before it starts moving. There we go. So this one here has got 20 some seconds. This one's got a minute and some. This one here is gonna wanna go back this way. So once it stops, then we gotta turn it around. Oh, it looks like there's gonna be a lot more than just three, I guess. There we go. So this one is probably gonna be going first here. So we wanna do this one here. Oh, I see right there. There we go, forgot to do that. This one here is gonna to go to wake three. So we wanna do that there and that there. Set that up, that's going through. This one here isn't going for another like minute or so. So hopefully this one will get through before we have to run the next one. And then this one here is gonna drop down into uh, platform three. In about 18 seconds. <laughs> wow. I really didn't see that when it was so fast. Good job. All right, once this one clears out of the way, we should be able to drop this one down, which is moving right now. So we need to move that into that. This one is good to go. 
It's going to be just going straight across. And then it's going to want to go over here once this one gets out of the way. There it goes, that one. And we want to straighten that track out. We want to turn this one around. There it goes. Once this one is out of the way, then I'll just set this one up to go that way. That one's going to go out that direction. There we go. And we are clear. So I can set that up. And then I'm going to put that back to three times so we can move through this time a little faster. It's like we got about a minute or so left. There we go. All right, so now we got about 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Oh, this Things place. are moving, so. This was one of my first ever posts as a dispatcher, you know? I'd always get a hot chocolate at the bakery on the way to work. Good times. What's that, a minute and 45? Well, let's speed that up a little bit. There we are. I think that might be the end. That's it. You've done it. And a great job you've done, too. That's a good score. I guess we better get back to work now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> missed up by one. I don't even know how I missed it by one, to be honest. Penalizations one. <laughs> Don't let me know if you uh, it, put down in the comment section if you happen to do better on that part or not. That'd be uh, be neat to see like where uh, where we are then. All right, okay, so back to Prague again and back to business. Now, where were we? All right, so it looks like we're taking, we're finishing out this train. This train is almost to its destination, and then we got to bring it back uh, to one up here. Okay, now we have two trains here. See, we have another train that wants to come in here, but we have this train here that needs to go out. So this one here, it is going to go to one. So we need to sum this up like that and probably connect that and that. There we go. And then this one here is going to be going through here. So, hmm. See, that's where we uh, we got to do something really quick here. So we got to take this, bring that down and over. There we go. So now we can bring this in, have that come across, and then that's going to go into there. But see, goodness, they're like almost spot on. So they have to be, I have to get this one out fast before I, you know, uh, get this one started, so. What we could do. I don't know. Let me see. Do I, do I have that option? I don't have that option yet. Bam, I haven't gotten it that far. So, what we're going to do. We'll just go through this. And once it gets out of the way. See, they're both sort of moving at the same time. So once this one gets far enough out of the way, then I'm going to be able to pop this one up and uh, and it will be done. Oh, no. oh, I could just kind of set it huh? and then. Oh, it's locked. No, nope, there we go. It allowed me to go through. Huh. I didn't know that you could change it at the last second like that. But that's cool. OK, so we got that one through. 
And this one didn't really waste too much time, so that's good. So we just got to remember to turn this one around and bring it back. So now this one wants to go up top. So we got to bring this one up top. So it's going to be like that. Dang, see that one's already going with. Oh. Uh, actually, it wants to go to one. Oh, yep. We're going to one. All right, let's bring it through. So we ended up making some money there off of our uh, trial. It seemed like the trial actually ended up going through, so that was good. I did not know that you could uh, push trains onto the same track, I guess, by using these manual things. It allows us to, uh, you know, push the trains onto the same track. It's a good thing that they all kind of run at the same speed, because then we don't have to worry about them running into each other as long as we don't have them going to the same platform. So that's good. Okay, and there we go. Now it looks like our next train's not till 9.45, so we got a little while. Oh, dang, we're late on that by a few seconds. Uh, delay by one minute. Hmm. I thought we were almost spot on with that one too, darn it. All right, so we got a bunch of trains coming, upcoming trains. Uh, we got one that has like two stops. Well, they all have two stops. Okay. Here comes the next one. So this one here, we're going to click that and click that and that. There we go. So that should be good. Let's route that through. It's got like 47 seconds. Now it's uh, it's ready to move. Now we have another one up here with another contract. It's the same kind of deal, same one, but I'm thinking um well, well that one's got Wilson Station. Where's Wilson Station? I see docks. Oh, there's Wilson Station down there. I don't know. Let me see. Can, are we able to uh, buy that? Is uh, that's quite a ways. That would be. I don't even know how you get to that. It looks like you have to go through a few of them. Like you come through here and then you pop down through here. Because you can't go through these little yellow black areas. They're like mountain ranges. So you can't go through the mountain ranges. So. For us to be able to go down. Oh my gosh. That would be like a lot of money. To uh, to pay for all those, those things to go down there. Unless we went this way. And then just went through these two. And then. Up down to this area down here. Mm -hmm. Down in here in the Wilson Station. I guess that would be a way to go about it. Whew, man, that'd be a long trip, huh? You have to go through three of these little stops. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's see. Wilson Station, yeah. Now, see, this one here is tied to this one, and this one here is tied to that one, but there isn't any here for the docks, and I'm guessing because the docks runs into a wall right here. So it's, like, stuck. All right, so here's another one. 
going to Dubby. Uh, Bubby, Bubney, however you say it. I think you can change these if you want. If you don't like the names, I think you can change the names of these. Um, well, I think it's in configuration, isn't it? No. Maybe these ones you can't. It seemed to me that there was like a... It, it mentioned like you could change the name if you wanted to, but I guess it's just changing the colors. Be nice if you could actually pronounce them, you know? I suppose someone from Prague can pronounce all these, but... All right, so we're getting a few here. Uh, we actually might be able to do some system upgrades because uh, we're kind of up to that point right now. Um, but I'm thinking uh, I want to kind of wait. Maybe he might say that, you know, to do this or that. But uh, I'm thinking the auto reverse trains would be nice to have. Uh, auto blocks, they, they're kind of nice. Um, the automatic routing. That's always nice. I like those. Um, I haven't really. Um... Oh, this one. Yep, I've done that one. It's this one here, the relay. I haven't really messed with that one too much. And the train alert thing. Oh, no. I mean, it seems like the same train alert that you normally get. It's so quiet. You can't hear it, you know. Okay, so I got this guy here at the end. I wouldn't mind having like an auto turn on this. And then we're going to have this guy come here. He's going to come up there and he should and then turn it. All right. Okay, here comes another one. Now this guy is just going to go here to Bubney. So I'm just thinking I'm going to pop him down like that, pop him up like that, and boom. He's good to go. We had some late trains, but not to worry. I've made bigger mistakes than this. When I first started out way back when the stations were nationalized, the newly appointed transport minister was looking to take a ride on one of our trains. Minais Milos, they called him. Well, I sent his train to the wrong station. His face was red as a tomato when he barged into the dispatch office. Hmm. Well, we're doing we're doing pretty good here. We haven't really had any, any late trains, I don't think. We are in the green all the way across except for that end because of the taxes and whatnot, but so far uh we're doing pretty good. We got, we got a good score. Not to, uh, you know, toot anyone's horn or anything, but. So this one here, uh, I'm going to have that guy. He's going to. Dang it. Oh, did I get it? I think I got it the last second. Oh, well. Oh, we got to turn this guy around. He wants to go to one. So we have to like straighten out the track here. Bring that up. And there we go. Now that one's going to be one, our first late one. We were sitting there just chat chatting. Oh, look at that. See, I left it on 10 times. That's why. Uh, best just to leave it on the three times. Then it doesn't, you don't end up getting all mixed up. All right, so we got that one there. That one's all like ready to go. This one here is coming in. Of course, late. It's already, what, four minutes late? Looks like five. Yeah, five, maybe six now, huh? What's it gonna say, six minutes? Yeah, six minutes late, wow. 
Our first one. <laughs> Let's not do that There's too many times, huh? See, we didn't get any of the train things. We made a little bit of money, but we didn't get any of these, so. I'm thinking what we want to do, though, is I want to set this to uh, do the automatic turnaround. So let's go into this and uh, we want to do a system upgrade. That's what I want. And then I want to do an auto reverse trains. So that's going to uh, bring trains. So they're going to automatically kind of spin them around for us so we don't have to do it. It works for the most case. I was a young man. It works for the most cases, but uh, sometimes it uh, it bugs out. So see, we have an auto reverse on there now, so we're good. And we got this train here, just bubbling, moving along. You know what? We could even um, do like maybe some auto auto routing. That might be a good thing. Um, thinking maybe, um, timetable adjustments, that might be really good, depending on if we have to change the, uh, what time the trains come in and everything like that. Uh, more stations, train alerts. Um, this one here, timetable adjustments and, where is it? Manual signal. Platform adjustments, that's the other one. Platform adjustments and timetable adjustments, those are the big ones. So I'm thinking maybe uh maybe we'll knock out this one right now. Ah, <clears throat> wonderful upgrade. Great choice. And then <clears throat> and then here in a couple trades or so, then we'll uh we'll unlock that other one. And that'll make it so that we can go into this uh, into this menu here. Um, let's see. That hit B. There we go. We can go into B, and you can see like all this now. We can actually change these, but we can't change like what platforms that they're they're gonna go on. But uh, we'll do that next upgrade. That next upgrade will make it so we can actually change the platforms too. So that that'll be a nice upgrade. Okay, so we got that. It'll automatically turn it around for us. Uh, now we just need to route it back. There we go. Did it go? Much easier than having to remember to uh, turn that guy around. I think what we should do is maybe set up something to go up to this area up here. That might be uh, uh, kind of a nice upgrade. So we have like 39,000 right now. So if we wanted to, um, I'm thinking uh, go into this and I want to buy and I want to buy the uh, that uh, whole holds the device. I don't know how you say that. But anyways, buy that and then you and then you got to buy the uh, the trains and everything like, or not the trains, but the platforms. So we got the, uh, looks like we got one platform here. So now we have that available. Uh, we can go down here and we can go to the conductor's office and we can put this up here. And now that's going to make it so that we can start getting contracts for this, uh, this area. And then we're going to need to bring some tracks through. So thinking, um, let's see, maybe something like this. Oh, like, I do love laying down new track, endless possibilities, the sounds of trains zooming along. Hey, 
that's given me an idea. So I'm thinking something like this, maybe bring it in like right there. And then <clears throat> and then what we want to do is maybe set it up so that it can go in uh, kind of different routes. So we can bring it in for this one here. Um, maybe bring another one down this way so it can come down through this direction. Um, yeah, so that looks pretty good now for our first track anyways. Uh, but now we have this set up, uh, we can, um, we can exit out of here and start hit play. But now we're going to start to get seeing contracts showing up up here after a little while, kind of like this one here. That's going to allow us to do different things with, uh, with this, this place. So. Get this train rolling a little faster and get us some more money. What might not be another good idea is maybe unlocking maybe a couple more of these in here. Just so that these are all open to us and we can have different platforms for trains coming in. Alright, so we got that. Uh, we got two. Now we just need one more train. We got one train coming in here in about two, eh, one and a half minutes roughly. There, there we go. So we have a train coming in here, wants to go to the docks. So we're going to set that up right there. Boom. Wait, what? Nope, I didn't make it. Try that. There we go. I didn't click it These enough. manual signals are an awful amount of work. Yes. Don't get me started on if we were to make a mistake. It'd be disastrous. R&D has been working on some new signals. Automatic routing signals, they call them. They should make our lives a lot easier. How about we add some to our network? First, we need to unlock the automatic routing system upgrade. And for that, we'll need some experience points. Let's keep doing what we're doing for now. If we keep dispatching trains on time, we'll earn points naturally. Okay, so we need to get up to those five points. I was going to do the three points, but let's do the five points, I guess, so we can knock out this little quest. And we got another one coming up right behind it. And it wants to go up to here. Should also check to make sure that I think these trains are all like uh, giving us the max amount of money we can get. But sometimes it's a good idea just to uh, click on them and look at their configuration to make sure that they are uh, they're giving us everything that uh, we we need to be getting. So another one of those ones is going to be like right on the on the edge there. Because they almost both travel, they do travel at the same time. So yeah. And this is a roundabout one. So I'm thinking what we want to do actually is on this one here. We want to like just bring this one in like maybe a little later. So if we... Uh, can there we go so if we have this one here um see this one here is coming in just before this one here i mean it's it's almost not too much longer right so if we plus this one up so 42 43 bring that down to 31 And that's 32. Yeah, that might work. Yeah, we'll try to deal with that and see if that works. Okay, so we're almost there. This one here wants to turn around and go to the three, or go to one rather, which one is used right now. So I'm thinking maybe what we could do is, oh, we don't have the thing to change the tracks, do we? All right, so this thing is almost about gone. Once it is, we can uh, move this train out. There we go. So I don't know if we're gonna make it. If we do, it's gonna be very close. Oh, 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 
So close. We were almost there. Yeah, delayed by one minute. Huh. Um, Let's yeah. start by opening there we the system go. upgrades panel. Okay, so we gotta go in oh, here. Here it is. And last but not least, perfect. With that, the automatic signals are unlocked and ready for use. Let's open the build menu and see what's been. Ah, look, here it is. The auto signal is available for use now. Fantastic. So this is really nice. This is like a game changer right here because we can set this up here and set that up and set that up. And maybe that one. There we go. So we get a couple of them set up there. And then what we're going to do is we don't have to, uh, it just goes to the docks. So we're just going to set that quite sure how and we're going to just say docks. I'm here to help. Wonderful. The auto signal has automatically set the switch to the track we selected. From now on, all trains on this route will safely arrive at their destinations without us needing to manually set the switch. Isn't that great? Okay, so you click on now the arrow, and then you just click on whatever track or, or platform you need, and it just goes, it takes you right there. So it's super, du super duper easy. And we can also set these little arrows out on the actual track so it only goes to like that point. So like say if we have a train coming out of here, but we want to like time it just right for this train, we could set up a little arrow right here. So this train comes up here, it stops here, waits for this train to come out. And this, once it's clear, then it, it goes ahead. So. Oh, see, now we have a... Um, Holes device, um, uh, yeah, option up here. So it's going to come out of here, and then it's going to go up the holes device here, and then it's going to come back down, back down to here. So here's what we got set up. Let's see, we're overlapping right there. Maybe something like. Maybe something like that. So what is that saying now? It's saying 12 kilometers. It's giving us only 700 for the uh, for the route. So not not a lot. Um, so maybe we want this to come out on one. So because it's a little less uh, less busy. But, um, so if we leave it on one, and then this one's going to go up to three. So it's going to leave at 1052, and it's going to go at 39, so that's a little fast. So we want it to go to, um, well, actually 39's right, because the track is only 40, so that works. So, yeah, we want that. And then for this one here, we want to bring it back a little bit. Maybe that, maybe 30. I mean, it doesn't give us a lot out of 5,000, but I mean, we got a lot going on here. Uh, we could bring it up to one. And maybe bring it back to here. That's 91 kilometers an hour. I don't think we're going to be able to complete that. That's 39 right there. So maybe what we can do is bring this one forward a little bit and bring this one backwards a little bit. So that's 39, that's 39. Everything is in the clear, so it looks pretty good. So we can accept this track. 
And then we're going to get this uh, new train here. I don't, I don't think it's that. I think it's that one there. That doesn't come until like 1104. So we got a little ways before that one happens. But we have a new train here coming at 1056. So we have do have quite of a big opening uh -huh. right there. Oh, just wait until you see this. It's going to blow you away. You building that track gave me just the idea. Oh, who's this? A private number? I better take this. Hello? Oh, Minister Milos. Sorry, ex-minister. It's been some time. Oh. Yes? Oh. Well, I... Okay, okay, yes. Certainly. I'll be in contact soon. Well, <clears throat> that was unexpected. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing, really. I I'll tell you about it later. Back to work. That's the one thing that's kind of a drawback on these, because if you leave this to the little, you know, um, to these, then you can kind of like guide your track versus if you have this thing, uh, it just finds the shortest route. And by doing the shortest route it can sometimes block you from like, if another train is coming down, then you, you don't have this route open to you and it kind of takes over. So. So that actually might be a good idea for us just to leave it like that. Leave this one like that, just so that we can like schedule that differently. Now this is weird. This one comes up from here. But see now that this is on this track, we can't we can't set it. So and not until this thing moves, then we're able to maneuver it up, up here. So right about now, no, huh? I don't think, uh, let me see. I think we have to pause this and we need to bring something like that. Maybe let's see if that works. I mean, it looks really funky, right? But, you know, got to figure out. Okay, there we go. Now we can. That's what we want. So that one goes into there. This one's moving. It's on the move now. What do you call a train that can't stop sneezing? A choo-choo train. <laughs> and the guy comes up with all kinds of silly jokes and everything through this. So it's, that always kind of makes it... Uh, makes it funny all right so now we got this thing here started so i'm thinking we're going to do this and we're just going to click that see now that comes down our knee so it leaves this area open this is that so that's awesome that's exactly what we want maybe even do like an, another one coming down here just in case these two are are blocked and we can still get around See, now we got this guy here, and he wants to go here. Nope. 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 Can't do it, because that's all blocked up. Wow, it's raining money. You're doing great. Well, let's see here. I got 34 seconds. I got 30 seconds, roughly, for this train to get by for me to straighten this all out. So let me see here. I'll do that. Get that all straightened out. And then there. And there we go. Whew, just in the nick of time. So this one's going up. And this one is going to here. And then it's going to need to turn around. And it's going to need to come back down to this spot. So this one here also needs to go over here. So I'm thinking maybe going into this one, and this is where we can't do anything because we don't have the points. We need three more points. 
and then we can change the platform and see this is where it's going to be a problem because these bolts go to the same platform so this one here has like a minute and 40 i don't know how much long how long this one has once it gets in oh and now we got another train here and this train is going to the docks All right, so yeah, 20 seconds. Yeah, that's see, that's what I was talking about. This is good. The issue here I'm going to have. So I'm thinking what I want to do is since this one here is going to want to come down here. You know, my friend, mastering the art of expanding your network is a key skill for a dispatcher like yourself. And I'd say the time has come to dive right in. Let me introduce you to auto blocks. Auto blocks are like the secret passages of our rail network. Sometimes to reach a station, you've got to unlock these auto blocks first. It's all part of the dispatcher's grand strategy. Now picture this. We've got our eyes set on Podbaba station, but there's an auto block standing in our way. Let me walk you through the ropes. To start, we'll need the auto block system upgrade. Let's unlock it. Of course, we don't have enough points for it, so I don't know. To start, we'll need the auto block system upgrade. Let's unlock it. Let's, uh, let's just keep going here. <laughs> so the game is just going to like make it so I can't uh, do anything? Oh, okay. It's, it's, I see it. The timers are still counting down. So I need this train to get out of the way so I can get this train down and this train down into the same location. Horrible. They should have done on the first part was to make sure you had the three upgrade points before you start, you know, start the auto blocks. <laughs> there we go. Got that one going. And then this one here is not one of those little pointer thingies. But we could change that. That way when it does come available, then we can drop down into there. And this one's going to be super duper late. So this is where it makes it hard with these little mountain ranges or whatever to be able to get around it. So I might just do that, just so we can get in. Train almost made me late. So this one wants to go to Dubney. But see, I, again, I can't do anything because this train is blocking everything up. If it this was freed up in the beginning, I could have ran this train right through. No problems, you know. And if I could like pause this train, like maybe put a pause right there, which I was planning to do. But it's kind of too late now. Then it wouldn't have locked up the whole track. All right, so this guy wants to go right here as soon as he clears the way. There we go. I doubt we even get money for this one here. Yeah, delay risk. So I'll just say, yeah, I still want to have it go through. I just maybe... Maybe push it back a little bit, huh? Because it looks like there's a really nice big open area right there. But now that's, that's at 33. That's at 33. It says this one's at 19. So, and that's the one that goes up to there. So we need to bring... No, we need to bring this down.
So like right there. That'd probably be right. And then once this one gets over here, we're going to turn it around and bring it back this way. But anyways, let's pause this for now. And let's do what this guy wants us to do. Hit the auto blocks. Perfect. Since these auto blocks are used to denote a large physical distance between stations, trains will spend some additional time inside of them during their journey. The longer the auto block, the longer they'll spend getting through it. Now that we've unlocked the auto block upgrade, we can buy the auto block close to Pod Baba. That'll unlock it for us. Great! Now we've unlocked it, we can reach Pod Baba. Feel free to unlock the new station whenever you're ready. Pretty simple, right? Well, I think we've covered all the basics for now. From now on, I'll let you have free range to discover and expand the network as you desire. Oh, I'll still be here, don't worry. But no need to wait for my instructions before you do something. It's full steam ahead. It's up to you now to grow your railway empire from scratch. Build up your traffic by accepting contracts. Don't worry. We've already accepted a few to give you an easier start. Accept more and shape your business with them. And do not hesitate to reject contracts that do not match your needs. Everything repeats in cycles of 60 minutes, so you can plan ahead. And when you feel comfortable, buy new platforms and expand to new stations, accept contracts there. So you, this is the welcome screen. This is, talks about how, how contracts and how they work. And uh, this talks about your, all your system upgrades and everything. So he's still going to like kind of like uh, tell you like how to do things and what to do and whatnot as it comes available. But uh, yeah, uh, for right now, I mean, we need to unlock Pad Boba, you know, but we just don't have the um, we need more of these uh, green things here for us to uh, unlock the um, more stations. So we need five. So we need like four trains to come through and then we can unlock more stations. Uh, which uh, gives us, what, seven operating stations in total to work with. So right now, I mean, we only have, what, four stations. That's good. We're, we're, uh, we're on the move. We're, we're, you know, things are happening. This is great. But uh, for now, I think this is going to end my episode for now. And uh, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that like button. If you're hit like and um, content and whatnot. And uh, please comment down in the comment section below if you have any advice or tips on the game or if uh, you're just enjoying the game and you want to tell me that you're enjoying the game, I'd, I'd love that. Or just say hi. Uh, but I'd really appreciate seeing more comments down below if you would. And uh, we'll see you soon. You take care now and bye bye.